Hello everyone, my name is Mrs Fitch and welcome to our Key Stage 1 Maths Learning today. We're going to warm up our maths brains by counting in different ways. Please join in with me, starting with counting in ones. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Brilliant, we'll stop there. Now we're going to count in twos. Remember to join in. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. That was much quicker that time. Now we're going to count in tens. What do we start with? Ten, then twenty, thirty, forty, fifty. Brilliant work everybody. Today in our maths learning we're going to be learning all about sharing and what better way to share than when it comes to a picnic. I've got some cupcakes that I'm going to share amongst these four plates. Can you help me? One for this person, one for this person, one for this person and one for this person. Everybody has one each. But I still have some more cupcakes, so let's keep going. Now I have two for this person, two for this person and two for this person and two for this person. I have equally shared out our cupcakes. There are two on each plate. Let's count how many there are all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cupcakes. I have eight cakes shared equally between four people and they have two each. We'll enjoy those later. I've got some objects now that I would like to share out. I'm going to share these in groups of five until I run out. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five. Next group. One, two, three, four, five. I still have some more, so I'm going to keep going. I have five here, another five, another group of one, two, three, four, five. I still have some more. I'm going to make another group of five. One, two, three, four, five. They've all gone. If I want to know how many there are all together, what's a quicker way of counting instead of counting in ones? There were five in each group, so I can count in fives, that's right. Let's see how many there are. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So I have 20 divided into groups of five. I have one, two, three, four groups of five, which makes 20 altogether. Instead of five this time, I'm going to make groups Two. What comes next? Four. Six. Eight. Ten. 
12, 14, 16. This time I have 16 Lego cubes in groups of two. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight groups of two, which make, makes 16 all together. I have got an activity that you can do to practice making groups of at home. You are going to need a plate, a bowl or a circle to make your groups in and some small objects from home. You can use cupcake cases, any coins or Lego, pieces of pasta, anything that you have a large amount of that are small enough to put on your plates. And I would like you to make 12 objects into groups of two. So you're going to need 12 objects and group them as I have just done in groups of two. Then you're going to use 20 objects and put them into groups of five this time. And then you're going to do 30 objects and put them into groups of 10. So pause the video now, collect everything that you're going to need to make your groups. And once you have made these groups, come back and join me to find the answer. Hello, hopefully you have used your objects to make groups as I have asked you in the questions on my board. Let's have a look at the answers. The first one was to find, use 12 objects and group them into groups of two. So you had two, 12 objects into groups or divided by two. How many groups did you make? You should have been able to make six groups. The next question was to use 20 objects and divide them into groups of five. How many groups did you make? It should have been four. And then finally we had 30 objects to put into groups of 10 and you should have had three. Well done if you were able to divide these numbers by putting them into groups of the right number and seeing how many groups you had made. Now, I'm going to give you the calculation. And using your objects, you're going to find the answer to these calculations. Eight divided by two. You've got eight objects and you're going to put them in groups of two. Then you're going to get ten objects and put them in groups of five or divide. And then you're going to get twenty objects and put them in groups of ten. Once you've got them in their groups or you have divided them, then you can find how many groups there are and that is the answer. I have also attached to your weekly email some challenge sheets that will help you with mastering division and making different groups of numbers. Thank you for joining me today and I hope to see you soon.